In this Roblox Studio tutorial, we are creating a run speed boost. I have also added a lightning effect and a blue ring around the player's feet, which makes it look finished. Also, we have a custom GUI button with a cooldown timer added to it. There is a lot to get through in this tutorial. However, you can use these elements here for just about anything. For example, the ring around the player's feet and lightning effects could be added to any skill effect, such as a heal or attack, or even a boss attack. Okay, let's get started. First, we are going to need a screen GUI. Next to starter GUI, click on the plus sign and add a screen GUI. Inside of the screen GUI, add an image button like this. Click it and drag it into the position you want. I'm going to add a couple of images that I designed in Photoshop. Do so like this. Right click images and choose, add assets. These images I have are just PNGs. Now that we have added those images, we can use them on our image button. With your image button selected, scroll down and add the asset like this. Look for the background transparency and change that to 1. This will hide the white background around the image. Inside of this image button, add a text label. Change the name of this text label to cool down. Change the text value to 0, change the font to, Gotham Semi Bold. Change the text size to 50. Resize it so it fits the image button size. Change the background transparency to 1. Change the text color to white. Our script will show and hide the text for this cooldown. So we can hide the text transparency for now. Ok, time for the script. Under screen GUI, add a local script like this. Ok, start writing this script out. Oh, we forgot to add a remote event. Under replicated storage, add a remote event like this. Call it speed. This piece of code is where we can swap our image icon to the grayed out version which is used during the cooldown. That's the script for the screen GUI completed. Okay, we can now add our server script which handles this remote event when it gets fired. To do that, click the plus sign next to server script service and add a script. Rename this script to speed script. Okay, write out this script as follows. When writing your script, be sure to pay attention to capital letters and syntax. Since we set the cooldown to 4 seconds, you could just write walk speed equals 100. And wait 4 seconds. But instead, I have gradually increased the speed. Okay, time for a run to check how it's going. Ouch. Yes, it looks as though the speed increase is working fine, and our cooldown on the button is also working. I'll cut the video there, because in the next video, we are going to add this blue ring under the player's feet, and add a lightning effect to that ring part which will complete the effect of our speed run boost. We will also add sound in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.